This video is about Bike Index, the bike registration that works. Co-founded by Steph Hare and Brian Hance in 2013, Bike Index is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. It's the most widely used and successful bike registration service in the world with over 583,000 categorized bikes, 1170 community partners, and tens of thousands of daily searches. Steth built Bike Index when he was a bike mechanic because he wanted to be able to register bikes for his customers. Brian developed and ran a community-driven bicycle recovery service, StolenBikeRegistries.com, that recovered bikes from the first week it was created in 2004. Merging the two services, Steth and Brian created the universal bike registration service they both dreamed of a database used and searched by individuals, bike shops, police departments, and other apps. A bike registry that gives everyone the ability to register and recover their bicycles. Simple, efficient, effective bike registration that works. So you found an awesome bike on OfferUp for a great deal. A $3,500 bike for maybe $600. Sure, it looks a little banged up and the photos are kind of poor quality. And you yourself believe that the deal might be too good to be true. But you also want to believe that you've just lucked out. You might also believe that OfferUp and platforms like it would flag and prevent the sale of obviously stolen property. You would be incorrect. OfferUp, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, all of these online sales platforms fail to prevent the sale of stolen property on their sites and do pretty much nothing in the wake of complaints about sellers that do. Additionally, they're next to impossible to police and they place the burden of proof and almost all the legwork on the victims, buyers and law enforcement. Online sales platforms provide this thin veneer of legitimacy hidden behind their weak and easily circumvented checks or totally anonymity, says Brian Hans bike index co-founder. These are businesses with billions in investment funding and they expect local police to not only chase down all the stolen goods on their sites but also to provide safe meetup spots for online transactions. They've basically outsourced all the enforcement and user safety to local cops burning taxpayer money in the process. Bike Index is one of the few modes of recourse for a bike owner who sees a stolen bike listed for sale online with stolen bike reports that used bike buyers can cross-reference before making a purchase from an unidentified online seller. Take this Salsa Warbird. New, this bike is about $3,000. A Bike Index user saw one listed on OfferUp for $1,000. At first glance, the seller looked valid. They could have needed to get their bike off their hands, explaining the price for a used bike in a good condition. Veneer of legitimacy, check. However, the salsa was a direct match to a stolen 
Warbird on Bike Index. Local anti-theft groups, collections of regular citizens that can be found in almost every city and who routinely help recover fellow cyclist bikes, set up a meeting with the seller. Engaging OfferUp was a lost course. Each site is making hundreds if not thousands of transactions each day. We do not have anywhere near enough resources to watch every sale, some of which take place in a matter of minutes, and vet it in a criminal activity, says Constable Kennedy McKinnon of the Edmonton Police Service in Alberta, Canada. We currently rely on people coming forward telling us that the property is being sold. Once we receive that information, we can target that ad for sale. EPS has done a stellar job in recovering bikes from online listings, lack of resources notwithstanding. In March, they recovered this GT from an online seller and have dozens of similar stories. Overall, this is a super way to keep a watchful eye out for your stolen bike and a great way to search for it with minimum effort. How does this prevent bike theft? Right now, people with good intentions buy stolen bikes because there isn't a single searchable, simple resource to check before buying a bike. Bike Index is that resource. The next time you buy a used bike, check the index first. They offer bike shops and law enforcement an easy to use interface to look up any suspicious bikes they encounter and a way to quickly contact the proper owner. They successfully recover stolen bikes every week through this process. I would appreciate any comments or suggestions you have about this uh, topic or if you don't mind uh, hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell so that you'll be reminded the next time I put up a video.